Amidst the dubs and Spurs setting the in-game attendance record, Poole and DiVincenzo combined for a crucial 47 points off the bench, while Curry and Wiggins were more efficient compared to their first game back. However, with everything that's gone down from the tape leaking in training camp to the road struggles to the injuries, it's been a chaotic year in the Bay Area. Chemistry-wise, the Warriors aren't their championship selves. That said, Draymond's preseason mistake has been overshadowed by the fact that he's the greatest defender of this generation and debatably of all time, which continues to be the case. Considering he held down the fort without Steph and Andrew, later on we'll revisit the 2022 playoffs to watch Green's top-notch defense in the film room. First, what Draymond just say to Taylor Rooks? Stay tuned. Right quick, please leave a like, plus subscribe and turn on notifications to help this video and YouTube's algorithm. Follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops. Thanks so much for supporting this platform. So Draymond said yesterday in a sit-down with Taylor Rooks regarding the damaged relationship with he and Jordan Poole, quote, We go to work every day together. Our lockers are right next to each other. That never changed changed. Once that video released, I'm experiencing so many emotions. Like, I'm upset. How the hell does this get released? Going through hell because you're just at the sole discretion of public opinion. Did it change our relationship? Of course, absolutely. That's still a work in progress. I'll always be willing to continue to do that work. I see improvements day by day, week by week, month by month. I see improvements. That's all you can ask for. I don't expect him to come out and be like, man, I want to come hang out with you off the court. I don't expect that. I'm not a fool. End quote. Regarding leaving the Warriors in 2023's free agency, Green also said, quote, the writing's on the wall, end quote. While Poole and Green will likely always have bad blood, that doesn't mean they can't use that ill will to outduel each other on the court, of course, in the healthiest way possible. That's how Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum worked things out in Boston. There was tension at first between who is the bigger contributor, then they accepted they were both great and needed to both vibe off each other and one-up each other. Despite all the drama and also despite the fact that four fundamental rotation players were lost in last year's free agency, this is still the core which took home 2022's championship. And in 22-23, the five-man unit of Steph, Clay, Draymond, Wiggins, and Looney still owns the number one offensive rating among all 30 teams. In the championship run last year, Draymond's generationally aware help defense and dribble handoffs slash split action facilitation got lost in the shuffle in terms of the storyline surrounding the fourth chip in under a decade. We're going to break down the film on those playoffs momentarily, but here's what proves to you Dre's value hasn't fallen off this year, and that there's been more plays we're about to see from last year's playoffs in 22-23. Despite the Warriors being 18th in team defensive rating, Green's 8th among power forwards in that area, Draymond ranks 11th among players in total contested shots, 19th among all players in total deflections, and 26th in charges drawn. While we're about to break down his defense, it's worth noting he's 15th among all players in screen green assist points just behind Nikola Jokic. Speaking of whom, as Jokic receives the SLOB from Rivers and a down screen from Forbes, Green reads the action as going to Nikola, stays glued to Forbes for an extra split second, baiting Jokic into this take. He's gonna leave Forbes alone despite Bryn pop into the weak side corner and watch the swift shuffle left, displaying sound positioning and physicality to embrace all 284 pounds of the Joker to draw the well-earned charge. Horford's trying to bully Curry right here, but Green shows us how you help without fouling, all while cutting off the passing lane. After Horford kicks it out, Tatum misses the jumper, and Otto, who's not here anymore, forces a jump ball. As Luka's reading the defense on this play, this last elusive shuffle fools the peripheral vision of Luka, who enters his drive right before that happens, and he leverages out of that shuffle into a mini sprint on an angle, plants his feet to go straight up, and watch how he hangs in the air to make this kick out the toughest it can possibly be. Credit to Wiggs for the help and recover as well. As the Celtics run a double screen, Tatum's forced to pick his poison with either Green or Iggy guarding him. Green switches onto Tatum, who gets it back to White, but the lengthy wall of Draymond and Andre intimidates White, forcing him to fumble it, and Green picks it up. This Williams screen attempts to get Curry onto him. Dre's right there, almost completely stunning off Smart and willing the corner kick out. Then he runs down Smart for the desperate yet under control contest. Swing swing motion from Boston right here as Tatum drives downhill in the ISO, but Green cuts off his driving lane with damning lateral quickness for his size and instinctive perception, and watch how he brilliantly goes right to Kavon's man after Kavon had picked up Tatum. Perfect rotation, you'd see a lot of bigs just fall asleep after Looney picked up Tatum right there, and you'd also see a lot of bigs recklessly foul with either body or hand contact on this backside rotation, but Dre glides backwards to both avoid fouling and to stick with Bullock's momentum for the clean 
clean swat. More exceptional anticipation displayed here as Nemi and Steph seem like they have this under control, but Draymond's still not so sure. He's going to stun off Brown, which turns into a full-on blitz when he rips it away from Jason. Two-man weak side give-and-go with Jokic and Barton is sought out and manipulated heavily by Green as another insanely quick rotation gets him back for the embarrassing block, which may have gotten Barton traded to Washington. Of course, Golden State's guard play, specifically of Stephen Curry, is the number one driving factor behind Golden State's success. That pretty much goes without saying, but bottom line is, this dynasty simply isn't a thing without what Draymond does defensively. If Curry's value is number one, Green's value is 1A. Unfortunately, punching Jordan Poole had a big time effect on this team's chemistry, something the dubs are still trying to resolve by the day. That said, how the Warriors respond in the second half of the year will obviously either make or break them mentally, physically, and in their positionings in the standings. Can the dubs still win the chip? Best answer down below in the comments, guess next video shout out, and the top 5 commenters by March 21st earn free merchandise of their choosing. Today speaks winner for my last two uploads are firstly Kevin Yancey, who says the best part about Memphis is their supporting cast. Pause to read the rest of his answer. And secondly to Mistra, who says the Mavs are playing great for what they got. Finney Smith coming back will be big for their wing defense, and he can knock down some threes as well. They'll be right there as the fourth or third seed. Thanks for the answers. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.